Now, people around the world will be watching the skies this weekend as a big Chinese rocket is set to plunge back to Earth. It's still not known exactly when or where it will come down, but Chinese authorities say the risk of danger is low. This Chinese rocket may be in an uncontrolled freefall. The 21-ton spacecraft took off last week, carrying a core module of China's future space station into orbit. It was the first of 11 missions needed to complete the project. Now, the rocket could become one of the largest objects ever to plunge back to Earth. Chinese officials say most of it will burn up in the atmosphere and is very unlikely to put anyone in danger. As far as I know, this type of rocket has a special technical design and most of its components will be destroyed and disappear during the re-entry process. The likelihood of causing harm to aviation or people on the ground is extremely low. The relevant government departments will promptly report the situation to the public. Some experts have criticized China, saying the rocket's re-entry is out of control. They say potentially dangerous debris could escape incineration and that it's impossible to say for sure where exactly it will land. It's not uncommon for spacecraft to fall back to Earth, sometimes even causing damage. But the sheer size of this one is keeping the international space community on alert. For more on this, we're now joined by Tim Flora, head of the Space Debris Office at the European Space Agency in Darmstadt, Germany. Is it normal for such big rockets to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere, and how dangerous is that? Yes, we see usually space debris returning to Earth uh, uh, regularly. Uh, every year, about 150 tons of space debris come down. And uh, this is about 75% of the space debris that is in orbit uh, overall. Now, this particular event is now uh, a, a very large object. You said already it's around 20 ton metric tons that uh, subject to this uncontrolled re-entry later uh, this evening or this night. And um, when we look back in history, there's only one, this is the maiden flight of this partic particular type of launch system about one year ago, since about 1990, that uh, came down of, of this size class uh, to back to. Mm. So how exactly can you calculate how much of the rocket is going to burn up and where possible debris will land? Mm. For, for estimating whether fragments are doing, that can result from the destructive re-entry process in the atmosphere, so the thermal and mechanical stress that the upper stage uh, will, will, will make to fragment, uh, we need model and we need to design information on, on the upper stage. And for this type, we here don't have that information, so we can only use information from, uh, from other launch types, uh, launch systems, and there from, from the very large ones, up to 20% of the mass, in particular, those components who have high melting points materials could reach ground, so could survive the re-entry. So this is a, a smaller fraction of the entire mass. And uh, we follow up the decay with, uh, with, with the radars on ground, and from that we can predict the evolution of the orbit to the decay process, and then we can project this on, on, the, on, the, on, the, Earth surf, on the Earth's surface, and we, we, as you correctly said, the uncertainty shrink down later during the day, and then we can uh, make better predictions, uh, ever better predictions during, during this year. Okay. And there are critics that say that Chinese rockets do not meet international standards. How responsible are Chinese authorities in the field of space travel? Hmm. As, I, as I said already, we, we don't have the uh, design information for this particular type of rocket available. So it's very difficult to assess this without having this. But what I can say for sure that in the frame of international collaboration, that is key to tackle the problem of space debris. We very successfully work with Chinese colleagues also, in particular on the frame of the Interagency Debris Coordination Committee, where we define the mitigation guidelines. So um, this is working well. On the other hand, we see, of course, um, that um, a higher number of uh, launch systems these days make controlled re-entries, but this is still a, a number okay. of about 20%, and that's uh, the fact today. Okay, Tim Flora, head of the Space Debris Office at the European Space Agency in Darmstadt, Germany. Thank you.